my lovers and friends. I need to volunteer you to do something for me. Yes, you. I need you. Will you please show some love on this particular video? I need for you to share the show with someone and let us know your thoughts in the comments, okay? So tonight, I got Calvin Richardson, who is an amazing singer been singing for several decades. Do you remember songs like Treat Her Right, uh, Falling Out, More Than a Woman? Listen, I can't name all the heat that he's been doing over the years because we've been here for a while, but I'm sure y'all know him and I know you got him on your playlist. So I need you to make some more room for him um, because he got a new album out and he got some heat for you. So I need for you to stay tuned and for you to check out this awesome interview that we are about to do. Stay tuned. It's the hat for me. It's the hat for me. You're so cool. Look at you, cool daddy. <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had to put an extra little lean on my hat just to talk to you. Well, come on. It's the swag in full effect, Doc. No doubt, no doubt. Tell me something. What are you thankful for? I mean, I'm thankful to, you know, to see another beautiful day and to be on here talking to you and all these great fans that uh, that I know that you have and, um, you know, to have some new music out there for them to listen to. Come through music so since you want to hop right on into it tell me about this tell me and the lovers and friends mm -hmm, about this new music that you got going on you excited about it i am excited about it i really am you know it's uh it's my latest project called calvin richardson five years later uh the reason for that is it's that's the length of time it's been since i put out my last project and um uh, you know it was it was it was that time and um you know, it also represents growth and, uh, you know, it's this music is made for lovers and friends, you know, somebody that has somebody, for the people that have somebody, for the people that want somebody, for the people that need somebody, this right here, um, this music is is just for you, you know, and so, um, yeah, it's out there, it's out there, it's, it's available on all streaming platforms and uh, if you don't have it, you know, I just don't know what you're waiting for, you need to go out and get that in your life. The wait got to be over because I tell you, it's some heat here. So tell me this. Let me be nosy, though. So what took, I know you said it was five years, but what was the five-year delay, Doc? You know, uh, all good things come in time. You know, no need to rush. Ooh. You know, you know, typically, uh, you know, it's, you, we put albums out every two to three years. Mm -hmm. um, that's customary. But, sure. you know. This just took a little longer because um, of my touring schedule, my workload, and um, you know I just couldn't I just couldn't find the time to lock in um, before I had before I was pulled off in another direction to get ready to get back on the road to do something else, and so um, I pretty much you know had to walk away from a tour okay. and just focus on getting this done. It took me six months to complete the entire okay. thing. You just said we can't rush perfection. That's what you was telling me, huh? Perfection is not to be rushed, you know. And so, no matter what you do, if you if you if you set out to rush it, it won't be perfect, you know. Oh. But, um, yeah. yeah. So, what 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 is, what is your favorite music out that's right now? What is your favorite song? Let me ask it that way. From this particular project. Uh huh. Yes, sir. You know, I, I it's it's hard for me to, to say that because I don't want to steer nobody, influence nobody on what they should listen to first. I want them to listen to the album and take in what they take in. And you know, I think for me, it's like having children. Okay. Uh, I have four, and so I don't have a favorite out of none out of all of my kids. I don't really have a favorite. I don't show any favoritism. You know, so yeah. I love them. I know that's right. See that you know what you gave me that politically correct answer. Uh, that's proper. It's, it's, it's true. It's not politi politically correct. That's just true. You know, what I'm saying? Uh, with all their differences, they and none of my children are the same. They are all different. You know what I mean? And they they are their own unique selves. So you know. Yeah. See, I respect that though, because I have three myself. I have three adults. I got boy, girl, boy. And I tell them that they all my favorites. I got a favorite, my favorite oldest one. I got my daughter. She's my favorite only one. And then it's my baby. He's my favorite baby. So, you go. You go. <laughs> there you they go. All, 
They all it. So I totally get you there. I am super, super, super grateful for you. Um, and this new, so this new track, what is the latest single that's out? Tell us about that one. The latest single um, that's out is Ready for the Weekend. Um, what well, else? Actually, you know, we we put Ready for the Weekend out first, and then we um, they have this rainfall. A waterfall effect they call it when you streaming when you are releasing um songs digitally yep um before they drop the album they'll drop you know they'll drop one single like mm -hmm. two weeks later they'll drop another one and then you know a uh, week after that they'll drop the entire album like you uh -huh. know uh just to i don't know just to wake the fan base up that you know we got some new music out here so um ready for the weekends first we just did a um a music video for that. We just shot that um, last week, and that should be available uh, for the public to see and enjoy in the next couple of weeks. But okay. Go 2.0 is it was a single as well. But as I said, everything is out there now. The whole album is out there. That's what's up. I'm all excited now. If we ain't got it on your, if you ain't got it downloaded, because that's what helps too. Not only you're streaming it, but what I'm understanding, you got to download it and stream it because that those both help. So got to make sure we get it. What is the album called again? Five years later. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I got to hear the entire, I need it in its entirety. So thank you so much. I'm super grateful. For, what's tour life looking like right now? It's good. I mean, you know, I'm back, just starting back uh, getting out there now, um, doing yeah. some touring. My schedule is available for people to know when I'm coming to your city. You can go to IamCalvinRidgeson.com and look at my upcoming uh, show dates. And uh, But it's looking good, you know. Uh, okay. The call coming in, you know, we just, we're picking them as, uh, we're taking them as we pick through them and see what fits the movement the best. Okay. Okay, I got you. And I know you said you was growing through some stuff, or you know, take took you some time. You had to grow there. What did the growth process look like for you? How well, you know, I think you know, what I'm saying as we live, as we go through different things in life, and um, the ups and downs of life, the great, the good, the bad, and the ugly, we grow from it. Yeah. And you know, what I'm saying we become better people, we become better artists, we become. I mean, if we don't become better, like you know, than you were the day before, like you know, that's you know, there's something to be said about that as well. And I think, you know, um, the the whole um, thing around five years later, I remember when I was before, you know, I was graduated high school, my one of my teachers, you know, he asked the whole class before we graduated, like five years from now, where do you want to be? And it, in, in, in that question, I think the question was, you know, uh, it wasn't about your present being because mm -hmm. you Five years from now, you couldn't be in the same place. I wouldn't be in that same graduating class. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You should be further along in your life. And you know what I'm saying? Five years from now, they say, where you want to be? And you know what I'm saying? I think after being off for five years, I'm exactly where I wanted to be. The music is exactly where I would have hoped that it was, you know, from what it was, you know, from what it was previously, which I always uh, try to focus on making good music. But right now, you know, I think the music is saying just what I wanted to say. Okay. You know what I mean? It's speaking, uh, it, you know, specifically to the person that I was and the person that I am. And, you know what I'm saying? Just the, the person that, I, you know, I long to be when I'm, you know, in, in situations with, you know, my significant other. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You better come on and bring it to the light, dog. You better talk. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I'm super grateful. Well, thank you. I know I ain't going to speak. You know, you're so popular and everybody wants you. You're so sought after. Tell me this. How do we get a chance to follow you and where can we follow you at and make sure I know we can know we know where we're streaming you at, but where do we get to follow you and how do we get in contact with you? We want you to come to or come to our city. Oh, absolutely. You can go to I am Calvin Richardson.com. All of my social media is there. Um, uh, I'm on Facebook, you know, I am Calvin Richardson, uh, Instagram, I am Calvin Richardson, um, TikTok, I just started TikTok, y'all, so, you know, give me on that one, uh, okay. let me see, let me th it's, it's the Calvin Richardson, there's so many fake pages out there, y'all be careful, okay. you know, people, I don't know why they keep creating pages with my That's face on. That's what happens when you're famous. <laughs> but y'all be careful, you know what I mean? But yeah, but definitely you go to my website, I am Calvin If you know, if it's not there, then it's not me. Okay. Oh, 
I got you. That makes sense. So tell me this before I get ready to uh, to let you go be popular again. <laughs> tell me this. What is the final word that you would like for the lovers and friends to to hear from your heart? So it's our, whenever we hear you and whenever we see your name, this is what we will always remember. Oh, no doubt. I make good music for great people. That's what I do. Y'all remember that. I am today's keeper of yesterday's soul music. There's nobody like me. It's just me. So uh, that's who I am. I appreciate y'all supporting me. Uh, as long as y'all keep rocking, I'm going to keep rolling. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. You better come on, Doc. I'm gonna keep, if you keep rocking, I'm going to keep rolling too. I ain't mad at you for that. <laughs> You and your swag delicious hat. I have now. I want a hat on. <laughs> well, I do good on you, but your your hair looks beautiful. So you know, I'm I don't have any, so you know, I can yeah. I can swag the hat all day long. Well, I did just get a fresh haircut, so hold on now. I feel I feel myself. Okay, you don't want to cover that up. Let that show. <laughs> I see you. I see you. <laughs> cut it out. Cut it out. Well, I appreciate you again. Thank you so much for stopping by and talking to me and my lovers and friends. Everyone, make sure that you go stream. Get this wonderful music. I kid you not. This man is a phenomenal individual. And you're going to be disappointed. He's the best to ever do it. That's what they say, right? Is that how it goes? Something like that. Hey, I make good music for great people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's right. Good music make great people and great people make the world a better place to be. So oh, that's what I'm part. I absolutely love it. All right. So y'all tune in with me next week when I have another fabulous VIP with me at the same Hear My Heart channel at the same Hear My Heart time. Grace and peace, y'all. Hey, See y'all. I am Tiffany Rochelle. I'm an author, speaker, and a heart coach, as well as the host of the Hear My Heart show. What I do is I encourage women to rid the toxins from their hearts and to set goals that are true to you. I have a few things that I would like for you to consider to help to enhance you. The first thing I would like to offer you is my coursework on forgiveness. Allow me to help you walk through the journey of forgiveness. As forgiveness, it starts with you first. Next is my book, I Choose Me. And the other one is Gold Digger. Lastly, I have a journal for you to write it all out. And it's a chance for you to be honest with you. So take the step today and let's get ready for a change. Go to my website, www.beautiful.me and let's get started. Make sure you follow me on all of the social media platforms. My handle is going to be the People's Cheerleader so you can stay encouraged and always be in the know of what's happening. Grace and peace.